So lots of stuff, Beano Black here folks, lots of stuff to research on uh, any of the Soho stuff today. So as you can see this black here, that could be the black baby blue Kachina. Uh, there's a lot of stuff to research here because the idea that we know that this isn't the Earth, okay? That's a big object there. This basically should have been more than likely, that should be Venus I would think, and Mercury, okay? Because they were supposed to have been pretty close today. And uh, this is basically the 15th now, so I'll see if I can pull something up at the end. But the number one thing is to two is, is uh, I got to apologize here. I'm not showing you the date. I got to pull it down so you can see it. There you go. Plus, what you're missing down here, this is massive stuff here to the right, right here. Check that out. The line really kind of screws it up. But you can see if you just get in your mind to get rid of that line right there. What the humongous is that? Is that our big baby blue kachina there? And is it that humongous? Okay. So we know that this should be the sun over here. Okay. That should be the sun there. Up by the snap video to size thing. So. Uh, but also, I see this down here too. Above the zero. I'm not wanting to get my pointer up any higher, but you'll miss it. But you can see that right there. Okay. So, very interesting stuff on all of the stereo behind H1 and stereo ahead H1 today. Okay, so take a look at all of it. Because I'll just get, I think I can throw 200% on here and stay in. And basically, this looks like our big, humongous, this is behind. And like I say, they had, this is more clear example. If you see this mass right here, I'm going to go on the outside of it right there. That looks like our mass that was on the blue video earlier today. Watch my two videos back of the idea of before I did the what one. What with the question mark. And what with what with the question mark basically plays this video right here real fast. Okay, and there we go. Okay, we got a ball in the sky. Ball of fire, folks. So is that the baby blue Kachina? Is it still blue? Is it, is it the 5,000K? of Rigel Cantaris B or some relative of it falling out coming towards us, Earth because Rigel Cantaris B should be in front of the Sun. Rigel Cantaris B should be 77% the size of the Sun so it really shouldn't be it unless that is all it there, the shadow that we see because that could be somewhat close to 77% the size of the Sun but then again what relative is it or is that the brown, the brown dwarf star Maybe Blue Kachina. It's very, very, very. If we do nice, if just NASA would spit it out. Okay. So you got a lot of nice stuff straight ahead to look at and also that. So I want to go play Hawaii action because we haven't seen Hawaii for a long time. So let's go to the uh, telescope in Hawaii. I can't remember this video. So I got the sunrise here for you. So the idea that even if it's the thirteenth, it ain't much earlier than that. Seven thirty seven AM sunrise. Sunset six seven fifty three. So here's the truth. Now uh this is Sunday, November thirteenth. It starts out. I'm not sure we're on the 1900 hour right now. Moving into, I will give you the count on there's the 2000 hour, okay? So, this is not, or at least I don't believe, we'd have to figure out, okay, West East Coast time, I gotta figure out Hawaii time to know what 21. No, that's Hawaii Standard Time, okay? So, we're not looking at UTC time, so basically, there just went. Rigel Cantaris B, folks. And I'll be able to play it back. What I'm trying to do here right now is to give you the most upper view of the movie so that it plays good. And I'm actually getting cheated out of an inch or so up there. As a matter of fact, i got to hit play again. I hope we don't get messed up here. Okay, good. And then what I'll do is I will move it back down, and that's humongous. I don't know if you've just seen that, but I've just watched this for the second time. And I wasn't paying attention that much before. And I am kind of wondering right there. Now, if anybody's watched this before, this is where I got V at, reflected to Earth. Uh, that is the volcano 
to the left there, and I do think that that's the one that when I'm in Maui that I've taken the ride down. You go up early in the morning, you can see the sunrise there on the volcano, and then you take a bicycle ride down. Uh, so that was pretty impressive there folks at the beginning I now it's, it only hit play again and give you it one more time now you can see that darkness there okay so the idea that that that, that there is there those are either I don't know I'm just gonna shut up and let you watch the awe here but I'm telling you watch for the humongous uh planet or something out there close and I'm wondering if that's the gigantic meat bulk now this is more than likely Rigel Canteris B and this is exactly what we see at Palau folks and basically that sun there which is basically 77% the size of the sun is giving us some kind of a badass ray through the alignment of stuff in front of Rio Canteris B. So now there is part of that. And then there's that other silhouette there that it just moves up there. I'm going to try to back that up and catch that so you can see what I'm talking about. I am talking about watching this halo right there. See that halo there? That could actually be an eye shot back into the one that is 74 times the size of the sun right there, back in the supergiants right there. That could be a photo, kind of like a silhouette forward, like if that was a whatever sun is behind that 78 times the size of the sun, all those suns in the supergiants back there, that the idea that could be it right there, that halo that you see right there, just to see how humongous that is. Pretty awesome footage. Then I'll give you the bottom part of the island there. You'll be able to see the volcano. And we're doing good on time. We're sitting at seven minutes. So this is the 14th that we're in. And we're in like 0300 right now. 0330. 0350. Moving to 4. So it's 4 a.m. So... We should see the sunrise here at seven something. Okay, so we're moving in. It's five forty-six, and here comes the sun. All right, so, and that gets cut off at fourteen forty-three on November fourteenth. Okay, so now I'll move it down, and you've seen everything that's on the top, and I'll try to give you. The clock and up another play. There's no need for me, just basically you'll see the clock and I hopefully that'll disappear. There we go. I'm not sure what planet that is that comes up. Matter of fact, let me let me see if I can give you a totally inner uninterrupted. Let's go back, right? To there you go. That'll pop out of the way. So you've seen whatever planet that was that went up. You can look that up at World Wild Telescope, see what rises at that time. And like I say, here we, here it comes, and this is not the sunrise, folks. That is not the sunrise. That is more than likely Rigel, Canteris B, and check out all that stuff that's in front of it that makes it turn almost into some sort of a laser. Look at that. Magnificent. And it's not solar flares, folks. I mean, it is solar flares, but what I'm saying is it's not photographic flares, okay? So you have to go back and play it again on the top view, the higher view, and see that stuff that you're missing up there to the top. And as you can see, that can keep bombarding that volcano there and other volcanoes in the world. And we'll get volcanic activity if there's the right means left in the volcano that's sitting there on Earth. So this will be coming up to the sunrise. Sorry about bringing the gray in there.
It's not really blocking much. It should disappear. It's when I put the hand down there. Come on, get out of there. Oh, uh, yeah, if I go down too far with the hand. Damn it. Okay, here. There's play, and I'll get the hand out of the way, and that should disappear. Okay. So, it's still dark, and it's 04. Moving up to 0500. And I don't think we'll get the sunrise again. So the idea, I'll play it, try to, if we have enough time here, looking at the ticker, and we do have enough time, I'll pop back and play it one more time. Get the hand up out of the way, and that should just disappear, and there we go. And now you'll see a planet rise there, and then this starts out in the evening. And yeah, we should get to, but then the thing is, that's where I see it. So the idea that the only thing you got to go by is just remember what I showed you for the, what the sunrise should be, okay? And this clock is correct, Hawaii Standard Time. So this is not the sunrise, okay? This is more than likely Rigel Cantaris B. It's the only thing that you can find on a, on any kind of a chart that's going to show to be what it is, okay? And I'm going to raise the screen up because the clock shouldn't matter to you too much. And oh. Uh, let me back that up for just a second. There you go. There's Rigel Cantaris B rising, and that's that bell you see that we end up seeing in the night sky in the, in the east. And like I say, you can see that laser action, almost like it turns into the colloid kind of coming across. So I've showed you the bottom and the top. Let me see if I can back up. And there it is. You're going to see this drop, and it's going to disappear on your view, but at least you get the top part. And with watching the two melded together, it's the best I can do for bringing the whole screen to be able to get the... I messed up on spreading the screen out, I guess. The next time I try to do one of these Hawaii ones, I'll try to make sure. And there's basically that tetrahydrin that I call. Tetra mean t uh, tundra. put it to there and then you'll see that drop watch it drop to earth bam in the future if that can get over there on the volcano and the right ingredients are there we could get the same thing that we see that I'm going to end up showing you in the future out of the uh, I don't even know that I know it's from Japan it's a volcano in Japan that uh, Dutch Sense uh, has played some videos of of a webcam over there and uh I'm just going to say Sheila, because I, uh, I think she's all right with me showing it, but she has blown up some footage that pretty much makes and shows it to be, quite possibly, the same thing we're watching there that could be causing the volcano action over there. And I think you can kind of see the clock there. So there's Hawaii action, folks, on the 14th. I'll just finish it out with just going through here and giving you more of another shot of it. Here playing through. See where it gets to. And there she goes. She's horizon. And there's the whole big old laser that I say that comes into effect and check it out. And it comes down and points at Earth. And I s it's just like a laser, folks. Mother Nature. Whatever. It's pretty unique, pretty astounding footage. So, the legal disclaimer on the end.
little disclaimer, sharing for educational purposes, folks.